Hello, welcome to another conversation with B. I really want us to talk about following through today. It's amazing how most of us get so excited when our favorite soccer player scores that goal. Maybe the person that we were vouching for on idols finally wins that cash prize or something. Or maybe the people that inspire us the most keep doing the most. They keep getting better. They keep advancing that product that we really like. And we feel so motivated. We feel so inspired by them. We set out all these goals. We write all these plans. So many things that we want to accomplish and achieve. But many times we find it so hard to just follow through. For how many years are you going to be writing down those ideas? All those plans and ideas that can actually better society and bring solutions to some of the problems that we're facing. The thing with following through is that you really just have to start and there are three things that you have to consider when following through for me i think the very most important thing that we need to consider is that following through should begin from within from yourself because you know most of the times when we watch those people that are doing the most we watch those people that are accomplishing things that keep advancing their lives that keep getting better and better we feel so proud even when our loved ones win that race, they get that job opportunity, they get that promotion, they keep getting better, they start something, they see it to completion. We feel so inspired, we feel so motivated, but how many times do you motivate yourself? How many times can you look back and just say, I really inspired myself, I really can't believe I actually did that. I really can't believe I actually got that far. I really can't believe I actually started. I was actually accountable to myself. I actually find myself dependable. And when you really find yourself dependable you find yourself reliable you realize that you actually follow through your own plans your own goals it's easy for you to be confident it's easy for you to get so much done it's easy for you to keep getting better it's easy for you to invest in yourself it's easy for you to be inspired by yourself to be motivated by yourself even before you can look outside it's very important for you to check yourself are you really following through your own plans your own goals your own ideas because, you know, it's so annoying when someone says they'll do something, but they don't do it. So people really say things that they mean. But then most of the times we forget to ask ourselves, do we actually mean the things that we say? When we say we are good at something, do we mean, are we really ready to invest, to get better at that thing? To look for opportunities and invest in them? Are we really ready to spend time reading, gaining more knowledge and understanding, perfecting our skills? Or really just want to look at other people and get wowed and just get so inspired by them but then what are you doing with your own goals with your own talents with your own abilities are you able to just start and follow through so yes that's the first thing that i wanted to say that following through should really begin from within and the second thing that i would really like us to consider when it comes to following through is that you need to deal with the root cause of why you are not following through most of the times you can set goals and say i'll publish this book next year i'll stop getting credit finally i'm going to stop borrowing I'm going to start investing, I'm going to start saving, I'm going to write that novel, I'm going to publish that article, I'm going to start saying things more, I'm going to start saying things less, I'm going to start accomplishing these little tasks, I'm going to get on that diet that I've always wanted to get on, I'm going to start working out and all those things. But then what is really causing you not to do those things? For you to write that plan, for you to get that idea, it means that you have the inspiration, you have the motivation. So why aren't you following through? If it's purity that you've been trying to pursue for so many years, what are you feeding your mind on? Why is it so hard for you to pursue and accomplish and follow through with that purity goal of yours? You can't find yourself in confined places with the opposite sex. You can't keep reading things that are explicit or just feeding your mind on things that are contrary to purity and expect yourself to be on that path of purity. You have to surrender certain things in order for you to be a success at certain things you can't say you're going to start investing but you're always willing and ready to spend on the next item you don't want to make a budget you don't want to plan for your finances you can't say you're going to start that business when you haven't got any idea of how to start you don't you're not talking to anyone who started you're not asking them how they started how they sustained you're not really looking within yourself and saying what can i put on hold what can i leave for now in order for me to accomplish that if I was eating meat four times a week, how will I now work around it in order for me to finally accomplish that diet or that goal that I've been trying to attain? Maybe what is it that is really getting my attention? What do I value the most that is hindering me from accomplishing that goal? Is it my own fears? Is it my own insecurities? Is it that I'm just lazy? Is it that I just feel like I can't do it and other people can do it? You need to look at the root cause. 
when you deal with the root cause you'll be able to follow through because it's it's not easy of course following through is not easy it's very easy to make that plan but when you actually start you face challenges you face difficulties you face so many hindrances and stumbling blocks on your way but then when you make the decision to be dependable to be reliable to be accountable to yourself you won't stop just because you said you stop eating meat four times a week and now you're eating it six times a week and you feel like oh i just can't do this no following through is making a commitment to follow through you have to be committed to following through yes you went away yes you failed but you will choose to continue going you will choose to continue accomplishing it you know most of the times when people fail to do something they feel like they should just stop they feel like it's just the end of the world they're not good enough they shouldn't continue maybe it's just for other people no the people that manage to follow through are people that choose to keep going even when it gets hard the people that choose to pick themselves up even when they fall down the people that choose to continue going even when it looks like the way may not seem clear they made a decision that they are going to follow through and they have dealt with the root cause it was fear if it was anxiety when that anxiety pops up they'll speak to themselves and they'll say i'll keep going i'll keep hoping i'll keep believing until i follow through and then the third thing that i think we need to consider when it comes to following through is the outcome when you write that idea you should really have the end in mind as you go on with that goal with that project with that plan with that value that you're trying to pursue you really need to have the end in your mind because it'll be so easy for you to just stop when things get hard when things get complicated when it seems like it's not making sense you just want to end so you have to have an outcome in mind Who's going to benefit from that idea? How is it going to help you? How is it going to advance your life? How is it going to advance the lives of the people around you? You, know, you need to place value on the outcome because when your outcome has so much value, it's going to be your motivation to continue going. It's going to be your inspiration to want to continue following through because you know that the outcome is better and greater than the challenges and the difficulties that you face along the way. And following through just gives you this sense of fulfillment, this sense of accomplishment, you know, this sense of satisfaction. And it gives you this level of confidence because you'll now be able to say, if I did that, then I can do this. You look back and say, I managed to get over that thing. I managed to accomplish that thing. I managed to follow through that then why can't I follow through even with this? And you keep getting the very things that you thought you wouldn't do. You would now begin to do them. You'll be inspired to do even much more because now your mind will be opened up to so much more and you'll begin to step into this world that's filled with so many possibilities. All those fears, all those worries, all those things that limited you will now be silenced because now you'll be that very dependable person. You'll be reliable. You'll be confident. And even if you began and you failed, you'd have learned something along the way. You'll now be a source of inspiration even to other people and you help other people even want to start the things that they've been failing to start because you have your own story to tell you say i also found it so hard for me to start i also used to just look for external inspiration but i began to be my own source of inspiration and motivation i believed in myself i chose to deal with the root causes and i decided to follow through and focus on the outcome focus on the results and focus on the change and growth that i would really generate out of this and therefore, I became the person that I am today. So I really just wanted us to talk about those three things when it comes to following through. Don't forget that it must start from within. And you need to deal with the root causes as to why it's hard for you to just follow through. And then thirdly, focus on the outcome. Even as this year ends and the next year is to come as you write those ideas, as you write those plans, as you get so much inspiration, don't forget to follow through. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.